years ago, maybe 30 years ago, I was going through my addiction. In the process of me uh, running through the neighborhoods for drugs, I seen a lot of people coming into Paul's place and they were giving out bags. I got a, a taste of these people giving away food. If Paul's place did not provide lunch, sometimes I would not have lunch. I call this my Hotel California. It's my summer home. <laughs> My life without Paul's place, I don't know where I'd be. I'd probably be in, in, a, in jail or, or worse. A lot of people think uh, that homelessness only happens to those who, for, for those who are neither, you know, not as fortunate or, you know, they brought on their own bad luck. But sometimes uh, circumstances are beyond your control. And the loss of control, that, that sense of loss of control, it's tough to deal with, very hard. Without Paul's place, I wouldn't feel whole. I wouldn't feel like I'm doing my best. Our Paul's place guests have many challenges. Simple things that we take for granted on our day-to-day -day life, like heat, like food, like clothing, like shelter. And I do think it's we all have a responsibility to help, help others. I've been in the Carpenters Union for 30 years. I've been working my whole life. I just don't make enough money to be able to afford a place to live. The vision of Paul's Place is that by 2020, families in Southwest Baltimore will have access to quality health care, access to the resources they need to stabilize their lives, have access to good educational opportunities so that their children can grow and thrive. At its core, I think Paul's Place offers people an opportunity to find stability and self-sufficiency. Giving somebody a bus pass in order to get to work. To you and me, it might feel like a very small thing, but enabling somebody to actually get to a place of employment allows them to keep a job and in turn provide stability to the family. As we all well know, our uh, society, especially in urban America, needs a lot of safety nets. And I was really impressed that Pulse Place provides the entire spectrum of safety net required uh, for every age group in communities that are underserved. If it wasn't for Cameron, I wouldn't know as much of the stuff I know today. Mr. Awesome helps me with my math at Pulse Place. It's good that Mr. Ryan is here because he helped me with my math homework when I need it, and when he's not here, it's not the same. I think it's, it's extremely important to tutor because growing up, I always had a, a support system and, and people there to help me. If I didn't have Paul's Place, I wouldn't have a future, a bright future, as I think I have to this day. I want to be a doctor when I grow up, and that means I would have to go to medical school. We rely on the community to support all of the programs that we have here at Paul's Place. Everyone has a purpose at Paul's Place. I feel really renewed every time I come here. It's an immediate impact. Um, sometimes people come in without a coat and you can put a coat on them and know that they're leaving warm. Good morning, how are you? Paul's Place personally has made a big impact on my life. You know, I never realized how many people are out here that don't have food, don't have clothes. It makes me want to do more and give back. They chose me to be one of the ambassadors. And that itself has lifted me. And I've been here about 18 months now. And it feels good. And it just gave me something to stand up for. It has helped me to grow within myself. Not to think of myself, but to think of other people before myself. That there's other people that have worse needs than what I have. I went to Paul's place and uh, they have a lot of programs there and a lot of great people that really helped me out a lot. We as societal leaders, we as business leaders, we as community leaders, we cannot afford to let any percentage of our population to go underserved, to have their needs not met. 
I know for certain that I will achieve my goals as long as I keep coming and I'm persistent. I, I just love Paul's Place. It's, it's amazing. My Paul's Place journey started about 18 years ago with three kids, all under age of 10, coming down to volunteer. And through the last 15 years, I have watched them personally become very charitable. And without Paul's Place, where would they have had that experience? So what has Paul's Place done to me? It's made a very gracious family. Just seeing the people that come through the doors every day and knowing that they where I'm at or have been where I was trying to go. And uh, some of them have smiles that are original and they feel good eating, taking baths. Same things that I did when I came through. And it just gave me a perspective that this place really helps. I need more places like this. Paul's Place helped me give me all the resources I need to put myself back together again. And I must say the rebuilding process is going well. If there was no Paul's Place and I didn't have the opportunity to be involved with these programs, it's a great possibility that I would still be using. I would still have mental health issues that I hadn't, weren't, wouldn't be able to be treated for because I wouldn't have had the health care and probably wouldn't have a home the way I do now. So I have a lot to be grateful for and thankful for for Paul's Place. When I walk in Paul's Place, you see people that need help, people that are here because they're hungry. But you also see people that are excited. They're excited about the opportunity that they're getting. This is important for corporate America because you cannot succeed on an island. You need to be part of the entire community. And I think Paul's Place provides the opportunity for many of our citizens who wouldn't have that chance to get involved and to do what is needed to become productive citizens in society. Corporate financial support is very important here at Paul's Place. We see their money in action through our many programs and services. We wouldn't be what we are today without it. Your support of our work is helping us to transform lives and strengthen community. And for that, we are truly grateful. Paul's Place is just like a treasure chest. All you have to do is open the lid.